Good. <laughs> Time to get to work. I'll just cut it here. Go PBG! I stood atop my seat on the bleaches, screaming my throat hoarse. I can't believe people think I'm the loud one. I should have brought earplugs. That's like I was playing another game today. After the loss so early in the season, I couldn't afford one another one. Hello, cadet red shirt. Hello again. Grandma's more important, yeah. Score is tight 1 1, and there were only a few minutes left until halftime. <laughs> How's your romance in the PBG? It's going very well. <laughs> I'm good, how are you? PBG called the team into a huddle where they stood, <clears throat> where they stood heads bow bowed and necks, necks tense. It's a good start again. Amazing. <laughs> Your daily dose of my food. I really don't know. I really don't want a repeat of la last time. None of us do, but it's okay if it happens. It's just high school soccer. <laughs> don't let PPG catch you saying that. He's more than just the captain of the team. Uh, I did not watch a lot. I had to go to bed, so. He can leave. He can be a little obsessive. Oh, I know that. The game is glitching out a little. Oh, I know what's happening. There. <laughs> a little? You don't know the half of it. You, you haven't known him as long as I have. I glared at him, and he held his hands up in self-defense. Sleep is important. <laughs> Uh, PBG was into soccer. I don't know. He was the captain of the soccer team uh, on high school. Uh, that was stated by uh, by Unicornism, which uh, who is his wife. Daily dose of Flynn. Yay! <laughs> Sleep is for the week. You can't blame me for stating the facts, ma'am. And you can't look, look at me like that. I'm your class president. I'll throw you in the brig. I won't vote for you this year. Ouch, man. I thought you were nice. My point is, it's better that we win, for everyone's sake. Can't you elaborate further? Jared had no idea. Okay. Paul shook his head and pointed to the field. Asuka was taking up their position again. <laughs> there was a minute left on the clock. The ball was in Asuka's possession, and Dean was dashing forward on the field. Two players came at him, trying to take the ball from him. Dean looked around in panic. He wasn't the best at avoiding danger. Usually during the day, completely nocturnal. <laughs> PBG raised his hands from across the field, running towards Dean. Dean passed the ball to him, a perfect pass. If PBG got it, he'd be able to score. There was no one in the way. PBG, go! But... The ball went in between his legs and into into the possession of the other team. Asagawa sprinted across the field, trying to prevent another goal, but PBG stood where he was, apparently in shock. <gasps> PBG, what are you doing? <gasps> move, PBG! They're going to score on us! Come on! But he didn't move. Light applause sputtered throughout the stadium, and halftime was called. McJones put a hand on PBG's shoulder, and he finally snapped out of it, looking at the score. His eyes grew wide. McJones gave him a shove towards the bench, and PBG, shaking his head, let himself be let there. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Okay. Hmm. God, that that did not go well. Well, they can still come back from it. They still can. When halftime was over, the team headed back on, onto the field without PBG. He sat on the bench, when watching the game with his hands covering his mouth. Let's hope we win. <laughs> McJones! You gotta power through these last two weeks of school and then you're home free from for break. Nice, nice. Hmm. No problem, guys. You can be talkative. We did. PBG on the sidelines, it was much easier for him to catch the plays of the other team and call for timeout to counter them. In the end, his direction led the team to victory, even if his playing did not. Yeah. Come on, we should con you should go yeah, we should go congratulate him. Um. Should we? They won, didn't they? Uh uh, you can go ahead if you want. I'm gonna head back. Gotta work on it that on you know, that big campaign speech, you know? Got six weeks left. I've got like eight weeks left before school ends. Or university. Mm. <laughs> you wanna apologize for your amazingness? Okay. But maybe if he seems kind of out of it, you should give him some space. See you later. Sure, see you later. All waved and headed off. Ma and I wait, waited through the crowd and stood behind the bench where PBG was finishing up the speech to his team. Oh, school, don't miss that. <laughs> Read Only Memories is a pretty amazing game. <laughs> sup, sup, mate? I'm pretty good, how are you? Amazing, I've never been prouder. We've, we've never been more of a team than today. Go have fun tonight. Tomorrow we'll have practice, same as usual. We're going after the Moirai Strikers next week, so we can't let, a, let ourselves get complacent. See you guys then! He dismissed the team and turned, on, turned to the bench. For a split second, there was a look I had never seen, bef seen before on his face. Then he saw us. Hey. Oh, you came again! Yeah, congratulations on winning! <laughs> the team did great, didn't they? All thanks to your direction. He shook his head. Well... There's no saying what would have happened if the team... The team did really well. Yeah, it definitely is. It, 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 it's a Mario Strikers reference. Do you want to go get ice cream or something? We should celebrate. Uh, uh no. Any other time I would, I mean it. <clears throat> but, but I have. <laughs> whoop. Well, uh. But I have homework I should catch up on. Catch up on. I've been neglecting it lately. Your high school career was at least eventful. Okay. <laughs> you always neglect it. It's about time I should catch up then. See you. See you. See you around some other time, Hana. He grabbed his duffel bag and headed off the field. Nario Strikers. That's not where Bluebell House is. He's really not doing well, is he? No, he's not. But it seems like he wants to be alone. I... Yeah, let's leave him alone. I don't like it, but I guess he made his decision. My smiled at me. Y yes <laughs> Oh, nothing. I'm just happy to see my little Hana growing up so fast. I... Pardon? She clapped a hand on my shoulder and pushed me back toward the campus.
The others are a sup the super special unlockable player. <laughs> no, but you're right, actually. Hey, Nubtup! Come on, dinner's almost over. I want a hot dog. Together in the dying sunlight, we walk to the cafeteria. Yeah, most. <laughs> oh. Together in the dying sunlight, we walk to the cafeteria. Still, I couldn't stop worrying about what, what was going on with PBG. I'd be able to talk to him tomorrow. No use worrying about it until then. A few days went by, and at first everything seemed fine. PBG wasn't acting any different from usual, aside from the occasional brooding look or nervous twitch. I'm a bit worried for Shane. Class started to get harder, but... Class started to get harder was we neared midterms as we ne neared midterms and Shizuka was taking no prisoners <laughs> he'll be fine he's a champ <laughs> Miss Santo sit up straight yes Miss Shizuka sorry as time passed she seemed to only get angrier and angrier Molly said yet another guy had dumped her but I wasn't so sure Asagawa Academy had a huge reputation to fill. There was a reason it was known as a rich kid school, after all. Hi. They accepted scholarship students like me to help pull the grades of the students who got in purely because of the money. The rest of the students were accepted based on merit, a combination of talent, looks, and smarts. Their if the academy fell in its ranking, the more well-to-do families would pick a better school to send their children to. That would be devastating for them. So midterms were a big deal. A gentle snoring filled the classroom, silly growing louder. Students were glancing around, trying to locate its source. PBG? PBG sat straight as a stick in his desk, his eyes closed. Maybe PBG had fallen asleep. There weren't any extra practices the normal boots club were having, nor the soccer team. I waved empathetically to Shane, who began to prod PBG in the side. Mmm, turnips. <laughs> <laughs> he was playing Animal Crossing. Mmm. Uh oh! Shizuka stalked over to the desk and slammed a ruler across its surface. Uh. Uh. Mr. Butter Gamer, I believe you could use some help staying awake. Uh, uh no, sorry, I was just uh, up studying too late, so. Uh. Quiet! She slammed the ruler against his desk again, then leaned towards him until their faces were an inch apart. For instance, I thought they would kiss. Men. I hate men who lie. She straightened up and pointed to the back of the classroom. Perhaps standing would keep you awake. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Rip ears. PBG stood and stood and slunk to the back of the room as Giggle skidded across the class. His first name is Peanut. Yes. <laughs> oh, do I hear a few people wanting to join him? The Giggle silenced immediately. If I hear any more interruptions, you will all have a 12-page paper to turn in tomorrow morning. <gasps> Holy shit! Mm. Shut up! The rest of the class passed comparatively une uneventfully as we united in the universal desire to not have homework. 
Never had I more strongly felt I belonged to it. Belong at Asagao. PBG stood in the back like a solemn soldier, staring at the blackboard, hardly even blinking. Wait. He wasn't blinking? As the bell rang, I sprang out of my seat and went to PBG. <laughs> Did you eyes on the on his eyelids? More than that, he had fallen asleep standing up? PBG. PBG, wake up! I shoved him. <laughs> Ah, uh, I, I didn't mean it. Please don't, please don't take Pixel. <laughs> Pixels is fair, by the way. What? He blinked at his surroundings and looked down at me. Good morning. Oh, Hana, it's so nice to see you. And right when I wake up, man, this day is gonna be good. It's lunchtime. We are already in class. He squinted, glancing around him. Oh, so we are. Why are you so tired? Is there something you need help with? The j traditional Japanese name, Peanut Butter Gamer. <laughs> the, from the Butter Gamer lineage in, of ancient Japan. PBG hates Peanut Butter IRL. <laughs> okay. Why are you so tired? Is there something you need help with? He scratched the back of his head and smiled. Nope. <laughs> I thought you were doing the eyelid, eyelid, the eye thing again. The eye thing? Yeah, falling asleep setting up is PBG's specialty. This, is, this has happened before? Oh yeah, you see, there was this one time when we were crossing it, uh, the Atlantic on a boat and I needed a code rack for Shaka to stand on. So I just used him. What? It was, a, it was only for... Th it was only for three weeks. What? Three weeks? John, are you insane? <laughs> yeah! I gave him bathroom breaks. What, do you think I'm a monster? He has been the male air name of in the Butter, Butter Gamer family for generations. <laughs> I think I'm gonna take lunch myself today. By myself. If I take a nap now, I can at least I can last through the rest of the day. The rest of class. But are you sure? I can at least watch over you. Uh, you don't want the continue boys drawing something on your face. <laughs> Again. No, it's it's fine, really. I'm okay. His father is Pecan. His sister Shia. So <laughs> the leader of the Shinsen Gubi was Salted Butter Gamer. <laughs> nice, nice. John, has he been sleeping well? Hmm? Uh, yeah, I think so. It's just sleep, Hana. How the kids in class are perpetually sleep deprived. You don't have to be so worried. If the male heirs are all named Peanut. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. Yes. Yes, I am. It's incredible. Well, yeah, but... This happens with him every now and then. In a while, he'll be back to normal. His, en his entire family is nuts! <laughs> nice. If you say so. Well, I do. Yeah. Come on! Whoa. Come on, let's go to lunch! Now to the cafeteria. I was watching for PBT, still feeling a little concerned. Thank you for the follow. Day the overcast moose. Oh, you forgot to... <laughs> you forgot to follow? Okay. 
feeling a little concerned. But to my surprise, he wasn't there. We hadn't left that long after him, though. Shouldn't we have at least run into him in the line? Unless... He hadn't... Whoa. He hadn't gone to lunch. Was he skipping food to sleep? My throat tightened. The whole situation was filling me with panic. And I had no idea why. John was right. It's just a little bit of sleep. So... Why was I so worried? Uh, hey, Hana. Hmm? I turned to face Mai, my key hovering before the locks, do the door's lock. I am the truest victor. Oh, no problem. You haven't gotten any notes from your secret admirer, have we? Hmm. Your secret admirer. Sure. Uh, you win some, you lose some. I guess so. Let's get started on those brain exercises. Hmm. I don't like the fact that I'm 90. <gasps> uh, I hate this! My clawed her hands through her hair, screaming at the small piece of paper lying on her desk. Jared went real yesterday. I have to find this stream that... I taught that one on Twitch. Okay. Why does I? Why does every anybody ever need calculus? Who uses calculus? Who uses school? Well, well. Don't answer. It was a relatively cool night. In response to that, the academy had turned on the heaters. That meant it was abysmally hot in our dorm room, and our pajamas stuck to our skin when we moved. Even I didn't want to be working on homework anymore. Hey. Want to take a walk? Mai stood and walked to the door. Please. Ah, oh, it's so much nicer outside. The evening air cooled our sweat, and a soft breeze ruffled our hair. <laughs> he threw his headphones off and stomped off into his house. <laughs> Aw. Thank you. <laughs> Gunning for an Oscar with that acting. <laughs> Thank you. The evening air cooled our sweat and it's off. Okay. We left after curfew, so there was no one roaming the walkways as we picked our way across the campus. Beautiful theatrics. Something to do with Mia? What? You mean my? Or Mia? Like... It wasn't... I don't know. We were rounding the corner of Bluebell House when Mai stopped. Um, okay, no, no problem. Do you hear that? You hear what? The sound of something being hit echoed through the air. No one's supposed to be out this late. I think it came from over there. Mai took off in the direction of the soccer room. Uh, Damn it, I get a, I'm getting a call again. I'll, I'll be back.
And that was my mom. Um, how, okay, okay, okay. I gotta go through the chat again. Uh, how much of the game do you know? Only, like, from the beginning to the end of PBG's route. The rest of the routes I do not know. Uh, we're, I'm doing this on stream right now, uh, and when I'm done with this, I can get you the new stuff. <laughs> Thank you. That was, it was pretty amazing for me too, uh, Gren. You should just us to read here, otherwise I wouldn't be able to find that flint. Ah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, favorite part of the stream is watching Shane self hate. <laughs> okay. I really don't think we should be investigating. But Maya was already far too far gone. Carefully, carefully, I tiptoed after her. There, look! Well, I grabbed my hand and yanked me down behind a bush. It's PBG! I sold you at Chrono Trigger? <laughs> I, still, I still have to stream that. Uh, well, I, I think I did a part one. And then I stopped because there, there was got to be too many games. Like I was... The be I, I better just like, st like stick with one game for a while, finish that. And then get to the next game because otherwise um, it's always going to be like, mm, which game should I play? Uh, and then I like, and usually like, then I would end up disappointing like one group of people who would want to see Chrono Trigger or the other one because I just didn't feel like playing a, a certain game. Um, <laughs> the very big. The very start of that Flint's stardom. <laughs> uh, yes, I am planning on doing a Pokemon Nuzlocke, definitely. I don't know which which version I'm gonna play yet. It's PBG. What is what's he doing? I peered out from behind the bush. He was she was right. He was used to it in the middle of the field, bouncing a soccer ball from his head. <laughs> a tweaked a fire red rom to make it more difficult. Please, let's keep it like regular for the first time. <laughs> Anyone who plays Chrono Trigger is alright in my book. Uh, I haven't finished Chrono Trigger yet. I have, like, never before. I mean, I've the, I've played about four hours of the game off stream, and I thought it was pretty amazing. Extra soul now. Those are all uh, like suggestions for later. I have no idea when I'm gonna play those games. PG, PPG stood in the middle of the field, bouncing soccer ball from his head to his foot and back again. It looks like he's practicing. Suddenly, PPG punted the ball into the air before him and raced after it. A loud grunt echoed across the entire field as he kicked the ball into the net. Ugh. Damn it! <sighs> he ran to the ball, kicked it out out and into the middle of the field and shot it into the net again. Ah, oh, damn it! What's wrong with him? I don't know. I've never seen him seen him so angry. Me neither. We shifted closer together, an unspoken thought passing up between us as PBG shot at the goal again. It was scary. Maybe we should get out of here. I looked at PBG. He was drenched with sweat and pending up a storm. Yeah, Pro Jared. Even, uh, I I started playing it because of Pro Jared actually. Like I didn't want. I like. I stopped after like the few, the first few minutes because I didn't want to spoil myself. Then I started playing it. Another yell echoed across the field as this time he kicked, a, kicked the ball past the goal and went chasing after it. Now's our chance, Hana, come on. And this is 
a very bullshit choice in my opinion because my what I would do is I would go to talk to PBG. I would go to talk, see what's going on. What's the problem? Like, can I? I try to like understand what's going what's going on. And but what happens when you go talk to PBG? Hana's like, you need to go to your dorm right now, 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 now. Go, hurry, now. That, that's not how you solve a problem. So. I'm gonna follow my. My was right. If he came out here, passed for a future practice, he probably wanted to be alone. There's no point in butting into his business. If he needed my help, he'd tell me. Right? Okay, let's go. We dashed up the hill we came down, but just before reaching the top, I slipped. <gasps> <laughs> Screw your logical choices. <laughs> I slid down the hill. Well, I immediately went back, so it didn't like. It, I just knew. I just saw it wasn't going the direction I wanted it to go, so I just went back to the choice. Uh, I slipped up at somewhere else. I slid down the hill. <gasps> Hana, my jumped after me and grabbed my arm, stopping my slow descent. She looked across the field and tugged on my arm. <laughs> Come on, Hana, let's go. <laughs> Learn to accept fucking choices in dating sims. <laughs> I got to my feet and struggled up the hill. Fearfully, I looked over my shoulder. BBG, now a small figure in the middle of the field, was looking towards us. I couldn't make out the expression on his face, but he made no move to stop or, or, cause that, or call out to us. Mai and I made our way back to the dorm in silence. Drama <laughs> Dramatical murder. That ends. Okay. Uh, excuse your swearing. Oh no. Nope. <laughs> this is not a, PB, a, a PG stream. Like, you can swear as much as you want. As long as you are nice towards other people in chat. Why and I made our way back to the dorm in silence. You think everything will be okay? I didn't know, so I didn't respond. <laughs> BBG was shoving book into his locker. Maybe today? <laughs> yep. Hey, PBG. Hey. Hey. When we realized it was me, he closed off completely. After glancing around, he shut his locker and dashed into the classroom. PBG had been avoiding me ever since the incident at the soccer field. He didn't want to talk to me at all. I sighed. Is it still bothering you? Of course, I'm really worried. Maybe you should try talking to someone else about it. If Talking to PBG, is it working? I glanced across the cl classroom. Shane, John, and PBG were looking at some something Shane drew, giggling. Well. I guess you're right. Hold on. <laughs> Monday, hide they. Nope. It wasn't until the next day that I got my chance. I ran to John and Shane while heading to class. BBG was nowhere to be seen. Hey! Hey! I dashed towards them. Hey! Ohana! <laughs> Ohana means family. <laughs> Shane. What's up? Okay. What's up? Well... well I fumbled with my fingers. You know how PBG has been working really hard lately? Uh. No. He seems he seems tired recently. 
Haven't you noticed something off of them, John? You're his roommate. Sorry, hon. I'm I'm usually at the theater, so I haven't been around much. He's been working harder than usual, but I'm I'm worried that he's that he's working too hard. He's been going out to the soccer field every night and practicing for hours. This again? What do you mean? <laughs> when PBG has something he really cares about, he tends to work extremely hard at it. <laughs> so this isn't the first time this has happened? Well, from what you're saying, it seems like this one is more extreme than usual. But yes, this has happened before. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I... I guess if you think... If you guys think it's okay, it, that probably means it's okay. But what could be driving him to work so much harder than usual? <laughs> Funky bullshimp. <laughs> Minecraft is for everyone! He shouldn't stress himself out, himself out too much. Something soft hit my head and I looked up, startled. Trust him. She was patting me on the head. And he was actually smiling. I know you care about him a lot, but PG is a little isn't a little boy anymore. He can take care of himself. I guess so. Without another word, Shane left. Hey! Wait for me! What just happened? A hurried look dashed past me. Hana! Hana! You better hurry up! You better hurry up! Class starts in a minute! What? What? Thank you! I followed him to the classroom and burst through the door just in time. I collapsed into my seat with a sigh. I glanced at PBG's seat. <gasps> Where? You. Is there something wrong, Miss Mizuno? I will not tolerate speaking out of turn. No, sorry. I returned to my gaze. I returned my gaze to the front of the room, but my mind was elsewhere. <laughs> Spot on, young town. Thank you. PBG hadn't come to class. The next day, I watched the classroom door with worry, but sure enough. The bell rang, class started, and PBG was nowhere to be seen. Hana, are you okay? I'm sure he's fine. I did not watch his stream. I checked it out for a little bit, but then there were too many spoilers. Because he's doing the hidden block round. I'm sure he's fine. Yeah. But my mind couldn't help wandering to terrible thoughts. As I watched Shizuka draw pictures on the chalkboard, my mind drifted back to my childhood. Back then, PBG was always always needing my help. He stubbed his toe, or I get chased by a raccoon, or I've turned on the television at night and seen a movie about aliens. Each time something bad happened, he'd come running to me to make him feel better. I knew that a lot of time passed between now and then, but the PBG I saw now was so similar to the PBG I knew then. Okay. No spoilers, please, but that's, um, that's a good sign. What if that hadn't changed? What if instead of learning how to manage his problems, he just learned to take them inward? And now, instead of asking for help from the people who cared about him, he pushed them away and took it all on his, all into his own hands. Now, when he needs help, he takes his anger out on other things or gets too absorbed in what, into what he's working on. Spoilers: My is acute. Twitch also got to today, then I bargained. Okay. 
I can't decide whether that's good or bad. In that case, if his friends don't see the need to help him, how will he ever get better? And if he hurts himself... Good job, class. I'm leaving now. Except for you, Marcus. He placed a paper on one of the more attractive boys' desks. <laughs> I'll be seeing you in my office. She... Winked and waltzed out of the classroom. What? Holy crap, it's finally going to happen! Shizuka is going to, finally going to hit on a student! Oh man, there's no way I'm gonna miss this! Come on, Hana, we'll have to we have just enough time to peek to peek and eat lunch if we hurry. You go on ahead, I have to talk to John. Really? Uh seriously? <laughs> Fine. Maybe Jarrett will come with me. As Molly left the classroom, I approached John and tapped him on the shoulder. John! John. What's up? Oh hey! Hi Hana, what's up? Well, it's kind of about, kind of about our conversation yesterday. What do you what do you need? Well, PBG didn't come to class again, and I'm worried. Hmm, you're right. Usually he sneaks sneaks in by now. Well, if you want, we can go up and check in in the room. Last time I saw him, he was still sleeping. I'm gonna make a grump version of this. There are only ten of them, so it could work. Oh, so you can date all the grumps. <laughs> that would be cool. Yeah. Thank you. Together, John and I made our way across campus. <coughs> Excuse me. Would John be in two dating sims? Yes. Whoops. As we climbed the stairs to the room, I finally asked him something that had been bothering me for a while. John, where did Jacques go? Uh, Jacques? Oh, he's... he's... Uh, fine. He's installing an update to get a Cybertronic beak that can carve through raw iron. I haven't finished... I, 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 I saw a little bit of it and then I had to stop. I haven't seen it all. I really need to. Raw iron? <laughs> I did see the moment where he's like, Doesn't go all the way to the... the take a right! <laughs> that was funny. Oh yeah, all the cool birds have have one nowadays. You couldn't, you know, I couldn't leave him out of the out of the loop, the little guy. Um, if you say so. I didn't really believe him, but he didn't seem to want to talk about it. Besides, it made about as much sense as anything John said. Here we are. We stepped into his and PBG's dorm room, and he closed the door behind us. PBG was fast asleep, curled into a tiny ball on the bed. How is it possible for him to be so small when he was 6'2"? Good morning. He's just... So PBG is like one inch taller than me. John would have to be a hidden route. Yeah. And then you could... <laughs> and then you can, you can date Jock again. <laughs> um, Wake up, beauty queen. PBG shifted over. Mm. You've got to be kidding me. He climbed over PBG's soccer bag and began poking him in the side. Mm. Wake up! Come on! No. No, leave me alone. I'm tired. If you don't come to class, you're going to get kicked out of the, stu of the school. You want that? Ugh. Leave me alone! No. Come on! John swept PBG's blankets off uh, of him as like a matador. Ugh. No! <laughs> Dan's right, it's just like, you want to date? Dan, sure! Best Dan! <laughs> PBG shrieked and flailed against the bed in a perverse imitation of the toddler's temper tantrum. 
I don't want to go to school. I'm sleepy. I don't... I want to sleep. Let me go to sleep. Oh, man, this is awful. John turned to me. I'm sorry, Hana. Could you please leave us alone? Could you please... Um, could you leave us alone for a bit? <gasps> Hana? PBG shot up in his bed, smashing his head against the beams of John's bunk. Ow! Dan of the Game Grumps, yeah. <laughs> if if he was in the... Yeah. If there was a Game Grumps dating sim. <laughs> that was awesome! Shut up! Leave me alone! I'm I'm up, okay? I'm up! And my DLC. <laughs> yeah, Hana here was worried about you, so we came to get you. I shuffled awkwardly back into the entryway. <laughs> Pardon my intrusion. Hana, I... He chilled off, the tips of his ears turning pink. I'll be in class after lunch, okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'll go now. That's a lot of <laughs> work for a free game. I flew out of the room and headed for the cafeteria. When I got back to class... I can't believe Damn, it was a total fluke. Shizuka was giving him an ap application for some college internship program. That's why she winked. <laughs> Claps. Less BNs. <laughs> yes, my DLC. <laughs> Everyone is way into my DLC. I would be too, but you know, it would be a free update. And I don't think so like maybe if they did another Kickstarter, they could do that. They could do that. Yeah. Shizuka was giving him an application for some college internship internship program. That's why she winked. Uh. I totally thought she they were gonna get it on too. <laughs> <laughs> That's too bad. What are you grinning about, anyhow? I glanced across the room at PBG in the seat. Caught my glance and gave me a thumbs up. Nothing. Shizuka Route 2. Go, go. Oh, you love birds. L love birds? No, no, it's not like that, I swear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me know when it gets juicy. BBG stayed in class that day, for a few days after that. He looked absolutely exhausted every time I saw him, and rarely to respond to what I was saying. At lunch, he ate his food and absentmindedly absent picked at his dessert, never listening to the conversation. I was worried. He was clearly acting strange, but nobody else seemed to be paying attention, paying him any attention. Our god is in a red hair. <laughs> I tracked Nick down to ask why, and all he said was, this has happened before. It kind of just has to run its course. Eventually, I pieced two and two together. The big game was coming up. Apparently, if Asagawa won, they would significant they would significant significantly better their chances of getting to the finals. I didn't understand why, but they'd be able to lose two games instead of the only the one. Is there any good tutorial videos on how to get Twitch account a Twitch account going? I just started and had fun. <laughs> oh, you should. You should. You should cosplay her, Mia. <laughs> um. Any good tutorial how, uh, videos on how to get Twitch account going? Um. You know, you just. What you need to do, uh, Jar Card, is just like get, figure out the settings of OBS, like how to get like your stream working properly, and then software to use, making the account and stuff like that. That's the stuff you need to look up. Uh, how to like get it, like how to get viewers and stuff is uh, basically just hang around other people's chats and have fun, and like you need to be just a little bit more active on Twitch. That's what I did. Like I didn't, I didn't have a strategy or something. I was just having fun checking out other streams. People, uh, I had fun with them. I became friends and everything. And I had fun streaming myself. And like, that's like, 
being a little more active on Twitch in general, like, gets the ball rolling, I guess. And the secret to play, the secret is to play Asuka while Jared is, while Jared is, and get raided, yeah. I got really lucky, yeah. A friendship cosplay Hana. <laughs> sure, why not? I think it's uh, best if I just cosplay Jared in that in that case. As the deadline approached, PPG got more and more anxious. Then one day, he didn't show up at, to class at all. He'd be the best, Hana. <laughs> He's still not here. What's going on? This is the second day PBG just hasn't come to class. Luke glanced at PBG's seat. Yeah, I guess you're right. Don't be sad. I glanced up at Ian in surprise. No? Ian rolled his eyes. <laughs> He's not hurting himself. There's no problem. He can make his own decisions. You got yourself to worry about. This tournament isn't going to win itself. He grinned and my throat caught. I got PBG cosplay. Nice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> my hair matches. Okay. He grinned and my throat caught. The tournament. I've been so worried I hadn't been practicing at all. That's what I thought. You can't make this easy for us, Hana. You can't make this easy for us, Hana. We'll, we really will beat you if you don't work hard at it. Um, you're right. Oh wait, I. By the way, I can look at this. You know, PBG was scary. Is this? Is he really the peanut butter gamer I remember? Ooh. Let me check the diary. That's pretty cool. And once PBG took us to a pool, and while we were swimming, my little bikini top came off. I mean, neither of us knew it was a big deal, so we kept swimming like normal, but now that I remember it, I'm mortified. <laughs> oh. Ian shook his head and walked away. When it finally registered that Ian left, Luke followed. I should I shouldered my bag. My was nowhere to be seen, so I headed home alone to do some practice. Ah, uh, damn it! No matter how hard I tried it, tried it, I wasn't getting any better. I stayed in the same score and ranks range since last week. How was I going to beat Ian at this rate? Well, in about an hour and twenty minutes, I will have to stop streaming because I have this um, a Skype meeting for a project I'm working on. So that I will stop streaming, and after the um. After that Skype meeting, I will come back and stream some more, but not of this game. I'm gonna like play some other games to celebrate like how far we got with followers and stuff. So probably like Jackbox Party Pack and dust and and games like that. Oh, the show's back on. I turned the volume up just slightly, resuming my training. Welcome back to PBNJ. Remember, if you hear that name somewhere else, we totally thought of it first. Tonight, I'm bringing you a very special show because, as you might notice, my partner has fallen asleep. Uh oh. Don't worry, I won't be doing any anything to the, too bad to the guy. But you know, he has a lot of fears, and I figured I'd do something to help him combat those. A sound like wet plastic echoed out of the radio when John next next spoke. His voice was muffled. Now then. PBG, wake up! I have come for you! <gasps> what? It was a second's... It was a second's pause over the radio. I held my breath. Then... Ah! Oh god, no! I'm sorry! Please don't take me! Please don't take me! You will make the perfect specimen! Ah! No, no, it's okay, you can take me, but please don't take Luca. He doesn't know any better, he's just a dog! <laughs> John started laughing, but his muffled voice made it sound absolutely demonic. <laughs> <laughs> I should have, I should have made more of my life when I had the chance! I have so many things, 
thing to tell people, Jeff, if you're out there, I secretly consider you a really good friend. And Josh, I'm really jealous of your jealous of your beard. And Hannah, I. Whoa, whoa there, boy. There was a rustling as John took off whatever he was wearing. It's only me. John. Hey. Come on, come over to Daddy. Come hug me. I'm I'm sorry sorry for hurting you. What? A quiet shuffling sound, then some, then someone being pat on the back. There, there. I'm sorry. It's over now. It was you? Of course it wasn't me, you numb nut. <laughs> I've never been so happy to see you. These two. <laughs> Hashtag protect PBG. Oops. For a long while there, it was just rustling and patting as PPG, presumably being calmed down. I smiled, whether it was obvious or not. John cared about PPG. He was trying to cheer him up, too, in his own special way. <laughs> Abduct PPG! <laughs> Whoops. Despite that, I still worried PPG didn't sound any less stressed. If anything, he sounded a bit more so. <laughs> no! I bit my lip. I've been worried about it literally all day. It was time to do something to get my mind off of it. Hashtag day PBG. <laughs> the radio show was hosted at Azalea Art Center, wasn't it? That's where they took me after the f flower festival. There's no problem in simply popping by, right? Just to wish him luck before the big game. This wasn't weird at all. I entered Azalea Art Center and made my way through the halls to the radio showroom. The show was still going on. The show was still going, so I couldn't just barge in. Instead, I stood outside the door waiting for PBG and John to finish up. I sighed. Well, what was I really doing here? Why did I care so much? Ian was right. If PBG wanted to do something, it was none of my business whether he did it. He didn't run his life. He, had, he didn't have to make his deci decisions taking me in, into consideration. But I didn't just feel concerned for him. I also felt a little responsible for him. Back when we were little, I was the one who watched out for PBG. I protected him from protected him from people who made fun of him. I chased down boys who chipped him on purpose. I even punched a kid in the face after I saw him shove PBG down on, on the concrete. We were only a few months apart, apart in age, but he always felt like a little brother to me. It was hard for me to see him as anything different, even now that he was so insanely tall and clearly had things together. You're, you're sure to do impossible things if you follow your heart. Okay. Well, it's together as obsess obsessively destroying yourself over a silly soccer game could be. Should have punched me and should have punched me if you were so scared. What if, I, what, what if I was an actual alien? Then punching you wouldn't make it much of a difference. You don't know that. John and PBG walked right past me, too deep in the argument to even notice I was standing there. I gently cleared my throat. <clears> throat> ah! <laughs> ah! Hello. Oh, Hannah, it's just you. What are you doing here? John glanced from me to PBG and smiled like a Cheshire cat. See you later. Hey, I gotta get going, but I'll leave you two here. Take your time, too. We have permission to be out, so we won't get any, into any trouble. <laughs> Hashtag scared butter gamer. I smiled at him, and he winked at me. PBG was pink. So... Why are you here? Well... Well... Shit, I didn't really think about what I was... What I should say once I was here. Mostly I was... I just wanted to see him to put my mind at ease. Yes, he was alive and he was in one piece. He didn't even look that bad. Much better than he had the last few days. Maybe he had been using that time to catch up on sleep. But he still shouldn't be missing so much class. What should I say?
I want to support you. <laughs> okay. I've been conflicted. I feel like you're pushing yourself too hard, but I know how important this is to you. I just wanted to do something to help. <laughs> you watched the VOD. I stopped. I wanted to give him something, but what? <laughs> oh, you don't have to. You don't have to do that. I'm fumbling around my jacket, looking for anything that might serve as a good gift. It was nothing but my body. Oh wait! Stepping forward, I wrap my arms around him in a hug. My head just barely reached his chest. It was more like hugging his stomach than hugging him. His heart was beating rapidly, just, just under my ear, and he went as stiff as a door. That ray looked really impressive. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it definitely was. That was... <laughs> yeah. That was one of my favorite YouTubers who rated me. Yeah, it was... Awesome. His heart was beating rapidly just under my ear. He went... Okay. Maybe this wasn't the right thing. He shifted a little under me, and then I felt two long arms wrap themselves around me too. So many Zorua. Something prickly and heavy <laughs> hit the top of my head. Hana. Thank you, Hana. As he spoke, vibrations tickled my head and face. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. We stood like we stood like that for some time, longer than was strictly necessary for a friendly hug. But I don't. I didn't mind. In fact, I kind of liked it. It was different from the normal kind of hug. I got from my or my parents. Something seemed different, but I couldn't put my finger on it. I <laughs> know, I as a mom. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> Finally, he pulled away. As I smiled at him, I realized that was what was weird. My heart was beating like crazy. A fucking sassy look on it, yeah. Yeah, it is, thank you. PBG's face was rosy pink, and I was sure mine was the same. He cleared his throat. Well then, I guess I'll just have to get going now then. He started walking backwards towards the door, not taking his eyes off me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good, yeah. Uh... Um, th thank you f for that. Yeah, no problem. Uh, will, you see, uh, will I see you after the game tomorrow? Yeah. At the game tomorrow? You know I will. Yeah. You know you will. I beamed at him, and he beamed back. Great! Man, I'm so excited! There's no way, no way we'll fail. <laughs> he chuckled. Thanks, Hana. Thanks for the follow, Darkheart64. Didn't you follow already? I... Okay. I didn't do anything. No, you definitely did. <laughs> no problem. He hit the door with a loud bang. Jerking around, he grabbed the handle and tried to pull it open, but it didn't budge. It's a... Uh, push. Door. He pushed on the door so hard that when he opened the... <laughs> when it opened, he flung himself into the night air. He stood for a few seconds, processing what happened. Oh, no problem. Just as the door swung closed, he turned and waved to me. Just wanted to see the Zorua. <laughs> Just as the door swung closed, he turned and waved to me. That was well worth the wait. <laughs> Zora, yip yap you! <laughs> The afternoon of the big game, the sun was harsh and the air was heavy. The humidity was almost unbearable. Going outside outside felt like walking into an indoor swimming pool. It was finally half time half time at the soccer match. The score was even, 3-3. But the saga was biggest rivals, the Moirai Fates, were being extremely aggressive. One player in particular already got a yellow card and was consistently getting into minor scrapes. So far, none, no one was hurt, 
there were plenty of moments where Asagao might have been able to score had they not been avoiding his risky lunges. It wasn't looking good. PPG was in great form, but stress had taken its toll. His hair was matted with sweat, and beads, to all, beads of it rolled down his face. He waved his arms around vigorously, talking to Jeff, who was being just as enthusiastic back. It doesn't look like it's going very well. Don't worry, we just gotta believe in the team. Well. If you say so. I didn't feel good about this, not at all. PPG and the rest of the team jogged back onto the field. You got into position this time as the center as the center forward, directly op opposing the rogue player from Moirai. I have a bad feeling about this. The whistle blew as my turn to me. <gasps> if you keep acting like that, you'll drag the team down! Come on, why can't you? <laughs> PPG! Ugh. Ah! PPG was on the ground, holding his leg and writhing in pain. The rogue player stood above him, a smirk on his face. The Asagawa students in the, st in the stand lost their minds. Foul words flew around us. If anything, it seemed a riot was imminent. The referee ran out onto the field and spoke to PBG. He shook his head and tried to stand on his leg, only to, only to instantly collapse again. What? I don't understand. What happened? Well, your glasses are broken. That player basically trapped PBG's ankles between his feet and, and twisted it on purpose. It looked like some kind of judo move. Ugh. That was no judo. Finally, his toucher arrived from the main building along with Mr. McPasta. PBG was gently placed on the stretcher and rolled off, to, rolled off the field. My heart sunk as I watched him roll past me, his face contorted in pain. How are we going to win without PBG? He's our best player. Jeff can't handle the rest by himself. <laughs> no. I can't stay here. I'm going to check on PBG, okay? You can't go to the nurse's office. They won't even let you in. I patted him and my on the shoulders and stood. <laughs> I'll make them let me in. I couldn't explain why seeing PBG in pain left me feeling so uneasy. But I felt like I was going to be in constant stress until I saw him. What if, was, what if he was hurt worse? What if his leg was broken? As I scurried to the nurse's office, I tried to keep the worst possibly, worst possibility from my mind, but it kept whispering through like a ghost. PG wouldn't be able to play anymore. There was no way. I opened the, do the door to the nurse's office myself. It was still and quiet, a far cry from the chaos of the soccer field. The sun was pouring through the open window, curtains fluttering slightly in, th in the breeze. I glanced around for Mr. McPasta, but he was nowhere to be found. PBG's legs formed long, long lumps underneath the bed, his feet sticking up in the air like flags. It didn't seem like anyone, was, uh, anyone else was sick. I slipped through the curtains that were, hung around for, uh, that were hung around him for privacy and pulled a stool up next to his bed. You mean real soccer doesn't have cool music? Uh, no, real soccer is boring. <laughs> in my opinion. No offense to people who like soccer, by the way. I slipped through the curtains, uh, okay. He lay still, eyes closed. Was he sleeping? How could he have fallen asleep so fast? And it hit me. He hadn't been sleeping before this. Of course he fell asleep. Hashtag offended. In the distance I heard cheers. I stood and peeked out of the window, seeing the Asagawa students in a frenzy. The players cheering. Somehow we still managed to win. <laughs> Fight me, Flint! <laughs> I sat back down and brushed PBG's hair out of his face. Mr. McPasta obviously helped him clean up a bit, as his face was no longer covered, in, covered with the dirt and sweat of the game. I glanced at his leg, snug underneath the sheets. I couldn't tell what was wrong. Should I take a peek? And this is where I went wrong the first time. I, I, took, a, I took a peek, which you're not supposed to do. 
PPG, shift, PPG shifted, and I glanced at him. Ugh. He blinked a few times and looked up at me. Hana. Hana. What are you doing here? <gasps> the, the game! The, the game! Did, did we win the game? What happened? One if you want to let me... Japanese school infirmaries are so freaking nice compared to the U.S. school ones I've been in. Nicer than Australian ones. Okay. Uh, I didn't really have an infirmary. Or did I? Nope. Nope, we didn't. <laughs> PVG died. No! Did we, did we win the game? What happened? I glanced towards the open window. We won. He scanned my face and frowned. What's wrong? Tears filled my eyes. I was so worried about you, you big idiot. I leaned over and hugged him. Uh. What? We didn't even have beds. We didn't have an infirmary on my high school. Like we had we, at our place, we had, or did we? I, I'm, I'm. There's never been. Like, no, we just didn't. There was only you could you could ask to go to like if you wanted to go home if you felt sick. Uh, but there was no infirmary or something. Nope. Uh, uh. Arms encircled me. Arms that were surprisingly strong. Um... If you don't mind... Ah! Uh, I flung PPG away from me. Mm. Where did you come from? Some bad eyes on a book. <laughs> <laughs> I've been here the whole time. What? 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 PPG, I'm sorry to say that you... Won't be playing any more this season. PPG's eyes fell. He didn't say anything. The injury itself is isn't so incredibly bad. It would take a few weeks to heal. At this point, the stress of practicing and playing would prevent it from healing properly. If you try to push it, this improper healing will create a will create scar tissue and forever limit the strength and flexibility of your leg. To all to remember high school. Nope. I remember high school. I remember the building. Like... We'll have to amputate the legs. <laughs> please, please, do not try to play. Even walking around campus will be more than enough stress. This campus is so... This ca This campus is so poopin' huge. Poopin'? I'm sorry, PBG. I put a hand on his arm, and he didn't react. Um, hey, it's okay. The team won the game, right? They're in line to do pretty well this season. We're the captain, and you've done a great job of training them, so... A gentle hand rested itself on my shoulder, and I looked up at Creeps. Miss Mizuno. I think it would be best if you let him rest a bit. Uh, yes, sir. Pray for PBG. <laughs> I stood, and with one last pat on PBG's shoulder, left. Just as, I, just as I got to the door, I remembered something. PBG. PBG. He was crying. I turned back around and left the room, pretending I saw nothing. I couldn't believe this had happened to him. This was his worst nightmare. Wasn't there some way I could help him? I'll take this line and you can... You can... You can meme the movements while I'm... Or mime. Mime the movements. PBG, are you listening? <gasps> huh? Oh, I'm sorry. What was that? It was the day after PBG's injury. His knee was wrapped in a brace, and his ankle was stiffly bandaged to keep it from moving too much. He shouldn't even be walking on it, but he insisted on coming to class if everything was normal. As if everything was normal. Meme the movements. Sorry, I'm Dutch. <laughs> I make mistakes. 
Um, I'll read this slide and you can do the movements. A uh, short sure. <laughs> hashtag me the move. <laughs> hashtag me the movements. Sure. No matter what I tried, it was as if he was an on another planet. Hey, how are you feeling? I'm fine. <clears throat> You're doing a hell of a lot better than drunk Shane. <laughs> are you sure? You can always come talk to me if you need to. Thanks, Hana. I know that. I just... He sighed. <laughs> we are not, we're not sure. <laughs> we are not sure. Was speaking actual words. Pray for Shane and PBG. He sighed. It's fine. I, I don't have anything to say, really. Okay, but if you do, I'm here. Thanks. The rest of the day passed slowly by. PBG didn't end up getting any better. Mostly he just stared at his desk and tried to move as little as possible. And I wasn't the only one who noticed. Still, there was nothing we could do. In the middle of my worries, I saw a familiar green jacket and bushel of brown hey. hair. John! He about jumped a foot into the air. Ah. Oh, ah! What? What? I'm sorry, I didn't do it. It was a mistake, really. I didn't know he would break like that. What's up? Oh, Hannah, what's on your mind? What was... What was that about? What's on your mind? <laughs> I asked you a question. His eyes narrowed. What's on your mind? Whoops. <laughs> hey, sorry, never mind, I mean... pvg has been really, really sad since he got injured. It's like the life got sucked out of him. Ech! I was hoping there was something we could do to cheer him up. Yeah, he's been having trouble getting out of bed in the morning. He hasn't even been practicing for the tournament like he's supposed to. At this rate, we'll definitely lose. I guess, but I really wanted to make him happy. No. This cannot stand. We cannot lose to those hidden block scum. Uh... So what's your idea? That's why I came to you. <gasps> oh my god, Hana, my sister just got back from this huge spa trip. You have a sister? I can't believe it. It's so not fair! I wish I could have gone, but she didn't even invite me! What's the point of being related to rich people when they don't let you do the cool things? Yeah. Why, that's it? What is? We should take a trip to... I paused and leaned into Whisper. The Hot Springs. Ah! Um. Uh, do you hear something? Ah! Um. What's that cloud dust cloud in the distance? Ah! ah! What the f Did somebody say fan service? Uh. No! Yeah! Yes! I'm so <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so glad everybody could come. I looked around at Jer Jared and my excited faces and the dissonantly sad PPG. Right. I'm sure this is going to be a great time, but but of course, any time spent with you two lovely ladies is bound to be great. Oh, Jared. <laughs> oh, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone been uh, been to this hot springs before? <laughs> <laughs> I've been to another, but I've never, but never this one. I didn't even know we had one in Hegambana, but I, sh I guess it's pretty cool that we do. Hashtag <laughs> K for Jared. I now know that most hot springs in I now, pff, I know most hot springs in the nation, but this one seems to have been just recently built. There's an inn attached to it and everything. Oh, that's our stop. Let's go. We entered the general inn area and made our ways to the hot springs, excited. My and I split off to, to the ladies' side, which, while PBG and Jared headed towards the men's area. 
As Maya and I cleaned off, we chatted animately about the animatedly <laughs> about the trip. I can't wait to wait to see Jarrett with his shirt off. This is the best idea, Anna, ever. <laughs> I tried not to stare at the at her body. Tried very hard to not tried very hard to not compare it to my own. I mean, I had always known that Maya was a bit bigger in some areas, but I never bothered to. Well, it wasn't important. Still, I stared down at my boyish frame and frowned. I'm planning to. F I have been planning for this day, Hana. I'm so ready. What do you mean? He's so cute. What do I mean? This is a golden opportunity. The perfect opportunity to capture my Jared's heart. I've got a whole plan set out and everything. Mm -hmm. You're not going to do anything that could get you into legal trouble, right? <laughs> Girl, what kind of fool do you take me for? Anyways, you ready to go? Yeah. I arrived to town around myself and stepped out to the hot springs. <laughs> tropes, 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 tropes. That would be a good time for Jared to join chat. It would. It's so nice in here. I immediately got into the water, but I hesitated. Was she going to take off her towel? I wasn't prepared. I wasn't prepared! <gasps> well, wait, I... I I forgot something in there. Okay, hurry back. As I turned away, I noticed Maya clip her hair from her head and do a dramatic hair flip. Who was she doing that for? It was only us here. I ran back into the changing room, standing against the wall, against the back wall. Calm down, Hana. You've seen naked women before. This is this ain't no big deal. It's not like Jared and PBG are out there. They're not gonna see you, and Mai's not gonna judge you. It doesn't. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I took a deep breath. I could do this. I could totally do this. I stepped back out to the hot springs, a smile on my face. Sorry about that, but I'm back. Hey. Oh, Hana. What? Come on in, the water's great. <laughs> whoa, 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 what are you doing in here? It's a communal hot spring for both sexes. I had no idea until we found Maya out, there, out here. I glanced at Maya and was blind, blinded by a bright flash. When I faded, I realized it came from Jared, who was so, somehow sitting content, contentedly next to her and staring into her eyes. Oh my god, they were only wearing towels. They were basically n naked. PBG seemed to come, come to this realization at the same time as me. His eyes grew wide and a blush came over his face. Uh, uh, d don't you want to come in? Not that you have to or anything or I, I'm... Uh, sure, I'll... I'll come in. I stepped into the, hot wa into the hot water slowly, conscious of the fact that each step brought me closer and closer to a basically naked PBG. <laughs> oh, you missed an M. I held the bottom of the towel down so I wouldn't float as I got in, and I noticed PBG had effort his eyes. Anyways, so, how are you guys feeling? He directed to Maya and Jared, but they were completely out of it. There was no get- no getting anything from either of them. <laughs> IDs. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> this spring was really small, wasn't it? He was really close to me, like, really close. I had a vice grip on my towel. There was no room to sit next to Maya and Jared, so I sat opposite to them. <laughs> I grab a good day. PBG, standing in the center of the hot springs, looked around and then started to come towards me. M mind if I sit here? N no, go ahead. He came closer to me, and closer to me closer. Finally he was next to me, and he started to sit on the rocks next to me. Started to, he never made it. As he was sitting, he bumped my arm and my grip on my towel loosened. Oh, sorry! No! Oh god, no! Hana! All at once, a giant gush of blood came flooding out of PBGs and my noses. Ah! Whoa, what the hell? What's going on? 
Ew, it's everywhere! The warning is turning to blood! It's the second coming! PBG, PBG, come back! Hang in there, man! He's floating! He's doing the dead man's float! Oh god, Austin! We're losing her! We're losing her! She's losing consciousness! Hana! I guess they got those bleeds. I woke to my hovering worried, worriedly over me. Uh, well, where am I? This is one of the in rooms. We rented one for a little bit. I glanced around. It was a standard Japanese style in room. Nice and neat, but it smelled of fresh orange peels. Maya was eyeing me as, a, as if looking for signs of an illness. What was wrong? How did I get here? Do you not remember? Not remember what? Hmm. I didn't think it would be so, this bad, but if it was so traumatic that you don't re even remember it, it's probably best not to tell you. <gasps> okay. Nosebleeds weren't involved. Okay. Hana. Hana. I put a hand on my shoulder. There are some things in this world that you're just not meant, not meant to know. <laughs> but <gasps> don't question God's blessings, Hana. <clears throat> e yes, ma'am. Excuse me. Can I come in? PBG. PBG. For some reason, is a well worth well's worth of embarrassment wash over me. Mai glanced at me, and then told PBG to come in. Hey. Hey Mai! Hey Hana! Glad to see you're up again! Um... Um... Do you mind if I speak to you alone, Hana? <laughs> <laughs> Say no more! Mai, Mai stood and crossed the hallway, glancing at, glancing at us over her shoulder as she did so. Play nice, you two. She winked, then shut the door. He was still shirtless. He sat down in front of me and looked at me, still shirtless. I tried to look anywhere but his chest, anywhere but... Wow, this was a really small room. It was super hot in here, super hot. I couldn't breathe. Um... Mm. This is hot springs. That's why. I know you've been worried about me lately. Oh. I glanced away. I'm sure you already know, but soccer is really important to me. One of the most important things. It's been driving me crazy that I haven't been able to play. I can't even attend the practices without having the entire team tell me to leave, me al leave them alone. But it's been my life at Asagao. Soccer's how I made friends after you left. I gained confidence in myself. Without it, I didn't know what I would do. I was going crazy and I was getting depressed. But... That was no reason to ignore you and throw myself a pity party. That was stupid. I'm sorry for worrying you so much. And thank you. What for? Well... I usually feel like I'm a joke to people. But when I'm with you, I feel like I'm more than that. You understand me. You make me feel like I matter. I like, I like you take me seriously. So I... Thank you. <laughs> you are a wonderful... You're a wonderful person. <laughs> PBG threw his head back and laughed. <laughs> well, shucks. No, I'm serious. I was... Oof. It was thanks to you that I could feel at home here. At home here, you showed me what it was like to have a real, true friend, someone who genu genuinely cares about me. Thank you for making my school life so wonderful. Well, you're welcome. A Any time. Do you think? I flushed. Do you think we could keep growing together for the rest of our lives? I know it's cheesy, but you're an important friend to me, and I don't want to lose you again. Uh, about an hour and ten minutes. 
I leaned over and pulled me in. He leaned over and pulled me into a hug. I wrapped my arms around him, smiling contentedly. Of course we can. Yay! Yay! A few seconds went by, and then I realized something. BBG was still wrapped in just his towel, and so was I. It was skin on skin, just a towel separating us. As the realization hit me, my mouth went dry. I was too embarrassed to speak or move. Uh, um, PPG released me and I let go of him. Uh, Man, I'm really glad we came to that conclusion, but I think I should go now. He stood up and sprinted across the room, flinging the door open. Uh, PPG sprinted past Jared and Mai, who fell away from the door with a crash. Uh, PPG, wait! Jared chased after PPG, leaving Mai and I alone. She crawled to me from across the room, like some kind of demented bug. <laughs> what happened? What happened? Tell me! Do you like each other? Are you dating now? Is PBG your boyfriend? I could hardly hear anything, so you were talking so quietly. He beamed at her, trying to hold in a laugh. <laughs> That's a secret. Mai and I walked to the class the next morning like absolute zombies. I wasn't sure if, I was, if it was the blood or the heat or the sheer stress of it all. But neither of us wanted to talk to each other. We didn't even want to look at each other. When PG and I came out of our room that night, we found Jared and Mai in the room across the hall, sitting four yards apart on opposite ends of the room. Opposite ends. And asked whether they wanted to go home. <gasps> yes, definitely! They responded like that. Something was up. Something definitely had to be up. But the drive back to, Aca to the academy was made in utter stony silence outside of a few passive observations on PBG's part to try and break the tension. If Mai wasn't telling me what happened between her and Jared, that probably meant it, wasn't, it was something bad. Really, really bad. Especially considering the things, see, considering things seemed, to like, seemed like they were going well in the actual spring. I wasn't about to bring that up if she wasn't ready to relive it. For all I knew, she'd just destroy any chances of dating the guy she'd crushed on for the past three years. Knowing Mai, it was very possible she simply wasn't able to conduct herself. Um, properly, in his presence. I wasn't about to go poking my nose in her most embarrassing moment. We climbed to the third floor behind me being Kakusu, who moved as though approaching who moved as though approaching their own execution. Of course they took up all the space in the stairwell, so we couldn't move around them even if we wanted to. My and my own silence meant that whether we wanted to or not, we end up eavesdropping eavesdropping on their conversations. So apparently the nearby hot springs are closed for the rest of the year. What? No way! I was going to join my friends on celeb celebratory ex excursion after graduating the midterm exams. I don't even know what happened because the staff don't want to go into it, but apparently it was so it had something to do with the water being tainted. I don't think people were copulating in the springs. Oh my god, why do you talk like that? I'm sure that's why it is. But it must have been some kind of party if it made the hot, if it made the springs completely shut down. Kakuzu's eyes flashed. It's being inspected for health violations. If they find something, they might not even be able to reopen. Oh man, I hope they catch whoever did it. It sucks that we have to suffer because someone else was a was an asshole. When we reached the, the top of the stairwell, we sped around the girls and into the classrooms like we were running, or running from a swarm of bees. As I hooked my bag on my desk, a Jolly John approached me. Hey, Anna, welcome back! How are the spr- Shh! Don't tell anybody we're there. we were there! Uh, um, okay, well, whatever you did worked. Look! She pointed across the way to PBG, who was sitting at his desk, happily doodling. He noticed us looking at him and waved, and waved cheerfully. I waved back. <laughs> I too enjoy speaking in human languages. <laughs> Let us engage in human activity. What do you do? I never would have thought he w I never would have though he would recover from something like this so quickly. <laughs> we just talked. I had a bit of a heart to heart, I guess you could say. John held up a hand. Thank you, that's all I needed to know. 
Well, Hana, you're you're a, you're one special girl. Um. <laughs> I just meant that. Thank you for looking after our boy. No problem. He's my friend after all. John snorted. <laughs> yep, definitely. And friends look after each other. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> He wandered off to his seat, still laughing like a maniac. What's up with him? Holds up a capture. I too love to breathe oxygen! I turned to Mai and she shrugged, staring out the window despondently. I guess she didn't feel up to chatting. Either. It was so unlike her. What happened between her and Jared? Thankfully, my thought as the day wore on, and by the time we got back to the Primrose house, we were deep in discussion about volleyball strategies. But as we approached our room, I groaned. Oh no. Another note was taped gleefully to the door. I ripped it off as a bear by knock down a beehive. Aw, what did the paper ever do to you? I glared at her as I opened the letter. Oh love, oh love? Oh love, oh love, she's lovely and sweet. She captures my feelings and shines like the sea. So lovely, this lovely, so pretty and nice. Oh love is so hot, and love is so... ice. Getting warmer and warmer and warmer until I pour too much water but love cannot spill. But this lovely I see stares back at me with the sea. For love has the loveliest, loveliest eyes I've e I have seen. I said of the paper, eyes like the sea? <laughs> I told you they weren't for me. Did I really have a secret admirer? I never even had a boy have a crush on me, never in my life. The strangest of all, when I should have left, felt my absolute happiest, I instead felt an odd sense of dread. We headed inside our room and I glanced over, unsure of what to do with the letter. Hey, what's up? You okay, Hana? <sighs> I... Don't like this. Well, just put it away and forget about it, right? Whoever wrote it obviously isn't confident enough to approach you directly. And as long as that doesn't happen, you can just pretend like they don't exist. I hold up the letter and stuffed it inside my desk with its brothers. Well... I guess so. A letter is just a letter. It's great that you have a secret admirer too. Who knows, maybe it's someone you have, a f you have feelings for. <gasps> There isn't anybody th that I like, that, so that's impossible. Mai glared at me. What? I'm serious. I know you're serious, and that's exactly why I'm annoyed. She sidled and shook her head. Poor guy's got it rough. But I guess you don't pick who you fall in love with. <laughs> a secret admirer is hardly someone in love. He's probably just a, he's probably just got a little crush. If if he even is a he. I was talking about. Oh, forget it. A blush rose in my cheeks, but I ignored it. Anyway, you were in the middle of discussing your tactics, right? Have you tried the jet shot? I heard online it's pretty good. That's a bit overhyped. It doesn't work as well for volleyball as you would think. The subject safely dropped. Mai and I discussed her next game until late in the evening. Something got her more excited about volleyball than usual. And that was saying something when it came to Mai. Whatever it was, she didn't tell me, and I didn't ask. I wonder what it was. And that starts chapter four. You know, I think it's best to end it now. To stop streaming now. When the meeting is over, I'll uh, probably stream, then I'll ch uh, stream chapter four. Then like do other things. And um, on probably on either Wednesday or Thursday when I can stream again, I, I don't really know yet. Uh, then I can um, then I can go and try to date one of one of the other guys, probably Jared. Um, so thank you so thank you guys so much for watching. And see you next time. Uh, which is probably in just about two hours or three. I don't know. See you then.